Hey everybody! Straight out of quarantine. Well, we're not out yet. No, we're not out of quarantine. Still in quarantine. In my pajamas. I live in them. I did laundry yesterday and all I washed was pajamas. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird to have that many pajamas. Yeah, it's a little weird. But good for you. Pajamas, always comfortable. Yes, always <laughs> comfortable. Yes, it's very comfortable. I don't talk like that. Yes, it's always comfortable. <laughs> She's sleeping on the couch. <laughs> oh, she doesn't talk like that. Everybody quit laughing. So we've had kind of an animal day. Well, I have. Jen hasn't, but... I was at work. So our son and daughter-in-law bought a tiny house. And um, it's been at our house what, about six weeks or so because um, it, you know, it needs the paperwork and whatnot. So today it's moving to them. And it them. came from Pennsylvania. Yeah, it came from Pennsylvania. It sat in our field. And um, yesterday we went and locked it all up and got it all ready. And I noticed that there was a bird nest, a bird's nest. So it's kind of shaped like a fifth wheel. It's on like a fifth wheel trailer. So it has a... Neck. Neck. There you go. Goose neck. Goose neck. So a bird, a robin, made a really nice nest in a great spot, you know, out of the weather. But there was no birds in it. Yes, there was. I said. <laughs> She's I not tall that... enough to look in it. Ow! Ow! Are we that being that way today? Those of us that are taller could see that there was babies in it. We're being very rude today. No. I've noticed. So, um, the guy was coming today to pick up the trailer. Can you please stop bleeding on me? It was my heart bleeding lower. <laughs> um, so we had to move the bird's nest. So I told Taya, come on, let's go burn, move the bird's nest. So she puts on gloves because you always hear that you can't touch. I said let it go to California. Yeah, Jen wanted the trailer guy to like, just, just pull it. Go take it to California. The birds will relocate. She, I think she said they would fall off. No, I did No, I did yes, not. Did. I said they would go to California. Look at the smile on her face. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Tay and I went out there and um, we go to move the um, bird's nest and the mom is dive bombing us. It was crazy. So I had to like keep guard while she's trying to get the nest loose. We relocated it to a nearby tree, walking very slowly so the mom would see us and she didn't want anything to do with her bird. She was done with them. Done. So... Mm -hmm. We saved them, and now we are McBride Exotic. McBride Exotics, thank you. Anybody wants to come and see them, take a little tour. Take them. Hold a baby. No, uh, adopt them, they can they, have them. They can hold a baby bird, just $50. $50 and you can hold a baby bird. What's that, pay to play? Pay to play. We could go to malls. Yeah, we'll go to the mall after so, corona yeah. is Taya over. Taya has set her alarm and she's going to get up and feed them every hour and a half or some bull crap. Yeah, she's feeding them and they're they're like So every time I go in there I'm like, "Can I see my grandbirds?" So I go in there and I look at them and they're all like I tell them both not to get attached because we're not keeping them. I think we should name them. Mm. No. Like we could name them Joe, Carol, John, who was the uh, who was the one that killed himself? Trent. That guy. Tooth. Um, there's a runt, and he's he or she's not eating very well. But no, Tay but is she's forcing him. She's forcing him to eat. If anybody can keep it alive, it's that kid. She had that little turtle that was like this big, that now he's like this big, yeah. and she just learns how to take care of stuff, and it works out. So our amazing. other animal um, story. Because we have exotic pets. So I got an email that said that um, cats can get depressed during quarantine and to keep them their minds active. So I bought a new toy for Groot, and I'd like to show you what he did with it. Excuse me, can I have this? Is he? <laughs> the lion won't give it. Look what he did to his new toy. <laughs> He's uh, he's out of control. 
Yeah. He's damn out of control. He needs a therapist. Here he go. does. He's depressed. So, so much for Groot's new toy. He's just out of control, that cat. Um, so, to conclude our video tonight, Jen is taken to reading to the littles. All these teachers and parents we've seen online during quarantine reading a story. She wants to join in. So she hasn't seen this story. She hasn't seen this book. So everybody gather around. Gather sit, around. Sit crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. Buddy. And let Joy, 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 is your name Joy? Joy, yeah. Let Jen. First you say I'm short and now you don't even know my name. And I told you not to bleed on me. It's, it's breaking more. I don't even think I can read it. Oh, nice. Come swing with us. Don't be a bore. Don't be a bore. Is that what it says? No. Oh, that's the best guy saying to it. Oh, God, I know what you said. <laughs> Oh, this is for Dustin. The last one was for Dustin, too. Dustin is a, a nasty little If you fella. missed her first reading, it was um, Sally Likes to Play with Balls. And yeah. it's on Facebook Live. Yeah, it's on Facebook Live. And I was drinking a beer. She's that not made drinking it. a beer tonight. And I merged. No, I got to go to work tomorrow, so it's just whiskey. Whiskey. All right. Make sure they can see the pictures. Because I'm sure they're going to be nice. Okay. Well, we haven't seen this book yet. Okay. That's the... Oh. Good look. 25 reach around... Reach arounds hidden in this story. Can you find them? What the hell is a reach around? Five reach arounds? I don't know. That thing? Maybe. I'll look while you read. Okay. I'll reach around. Hey! <laughs> I'll come in the back door. Ow! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ouch! No back door in. That's exit only. Okay. Oh, goody. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh this, this is going to be a good book. Tim and Kate. Tim and Kate are swingers. They really love to swing. That's me and Tim. <laughs> Taya, Nene's reading a story. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> they swing high, they swing low. Hmm? Look I don't at you. see any reach arounds. Come on, look at you. Oh, my know. hair's touching the ground. Yeah, that's sick. Okay. Oh, they sing with they swing with Sally. They swing with Joe. <laughs> you are quite promiscuous. Look at her shirt. It has two girls and a guy symbol. You gotta show that one up close. Look at that shirt. You didn't even oh. notice that. No, I did not. I can't see very well. My contacts are doing a number. Oh my gosh, look at you. Quite promiscuous. When they swing, there is no norm. What does that mean? Maybe Norman's not invited? Oh. They swing with girls, they swing with boys. They wear their pearls oh and they God. swing with toys. <laughs> they swing in masks, they swing in lays. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Me and Tim and Kate. Tim. Nasty little kids. Him. <laughs> but if you ask, they both will say, we want to swing with a unicorn. What? They 
how kind of book is this? And they're just laughing it up, thinking about swinging with a unicorn. <laughs> hmm. Oh, they switch, they swap. They push, they pull. Is that like swap shop? Because they like to swap and swing and... <laughs> shop? It's called the key club. Oh, yeah. Their swinging parties are always full. That's a key club party. That's the key club. Uh, golf, you heard about that. At the golf country club. <laughs> Ooh, weird about Morgan those. has quite a reputation. Back in the day. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, I married a saloon. <laughs> I married a promiscuous saloon. Swinger. Kate will swing with six or more, and I really hate that I'm finding out this way. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your way of telling me? Yes. <laughs> but apparently I'm really straight. Yeah, you were a wild ace. Kate will swing with six or more while Tim takes picks. Oh picks galore. Yikes. Picks galore. Tim's a pervy. And he has a like an old clicker camera that you have to turn in. Great. I see what oh, so the guy at the <laughs> photo counter can see the yeah, pictures. Yeah, Tim likes to watch. So, so watch he does. Tim likes to film it. Just because. If you're not drinking a beer, you're really burpy. I know. I've been really gassy lately. Interesting. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I feel sorry for it's those all of the stress have to her, about Tim and Kate swinging. I know. Well, this is an extra stressor that's added now. Thank you for sharing this book with okay, me. This is not a true picture. <laughs> they swing in France and in. You have a hard time with some words. Manila. Mm -hmm. They even swing with plain vanilla. If she's a swinger, then she's not vanilla. No. I'm see if this is written by Kate McBride, I'm just gonna shoot my pants. They swing all night from dusk till morn, hoping to find a unicorn. Is there another meaning to unicorn then? <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping someone will explain it. In the comments, explain to us about this unicorn thing. I'm thinking it's a straight thing. It's gotta be. They know she's they know she's out there within their reach. Someday they'll swing with her on the beach. I'm not getting it. I might have to do some Googling. Does that take you to the dark web? It might. It's when you start looking at Google on your dad's computer. <laughs> we'll go do, go, Google it's used on. to the dark web. <laughs> it's used to the porn. While they try to find that beauty. Tim will swing with something fruity. You know what would be the best? If we could get your dad to read this story to somebody and we won't tell him anything about it and just see what he does. <laughs> he wouldn't even know. He'd just be like, Bear. this is just a kid's book. He wouldn't even know. That's it? That's it. Well, that gets a low rating. This one gets a low rating, but I want to see if this is written by you. It was for Dustin. It should have been for Jen. <laughs> oh, it's by by Bimsy. So, if you'd like to purchase this book, don't come swing with us. It was kind of boring. You can have ours. Kind of boring. Yeah. But interesting that I'm this still is. Still trying to figure out what a reach around book is. That this is uh, the way my wife tells me her news. Look at illustrated by some Guyan. Bangladesh. <laughs> I don't know who named these people. Hmm. Maybe it was a unicorn. Maybe. I don't know what the unicorn... Maybe you all know what a unicorn thing is, but I'm not for positive. But. Well, this is a book of fiction. Oh, okay. Names, characters are products of the author's imagination. <gasps> oh, man. I was so stressed, babe, through the whole book. I just want to know what a reach-around book... I don't see... There's 25 hidden. 
Anywho. Well, so there's our, our uh, second book of the... Uh, oh, did you notice um, this guy's shirt? He has the two male signs no. on his shirt. Well, it does say that he's being fruity. So if you have a kid who is trying to come out at five or six, you could buy him this book. Yeah. But you don't want him to learn the unicorn. Or yeah, we've got to figure out what the unicorn is. What is a reach around book? It's really bothering me. This is the reach around book. I know, but this what is are what the they're 25... called? 25 hidden reach arounds. Yeah, what's that mean? What is a hidden reach around? Wow, she has really hairy legs. <laughs> oh. I think we're overanalyzing this book. But we don't have any uh, what were you thinkings. Um. No. No. We're getting sick of quarantine. Yes, absolutely getting sick of quarantine. Ready to go to the lake. Just go to the lake and go have some fun. And Oh, I found one. Oh. Look at that, folks. That would be a reach around. Thank Let's goodness. See. I guess it's this little symbol here. <laughs> If I were as a kid, I'd go around and circle them. Piss my parents <laughs> off. Piss my parents off. Did you ever write, this book belongs to... No. No, I always wrote in them. I don't think I had books when I was a child. And I would always write like mustaches on them and stuff like that. Yeah, I remember going to the library all the time. I got busted doing that to my mom's magazine once and she got really mad at me. I put mustaches on all the models and she got mad. Hey, you ruined her Playboy. My mom, that wasn't a Playboy. It was a, <laughs> it was a hustler. <laughs> my dad used to get Playboys for the articles. And no. he had a stack next to his bed this tall. Oh. Now that I'm older, why were they next to his bed? Yeah. Wow. Was there Kleenex by there too? I don't know. No. Oh, you that's gross. I just remember, remember that. <laughs> oh. Anywho, well, we love you guys. Thank you for uh, listening. And if you know anything about the Yo Unicorn, we'd like to know. If you could kind of maybe fill us in. Some of you straight folks, you might know. I don't know. But don't you worry. There's three more books, and we hope they're better than uh, Come Swing With and Us. Come Swing With Us. That me. one was kind of a disappointment. Mm, well, you know what? But, yeah. Uh, yeah, the next one, just reading the title. Woo! My goodness. Ready for just the title? Yeah. Sp Spank the Monkey Lends a Hand. Okay. Well, that's yeah. going to be our next book. Don't go read it before. Yeah, don't spoil the surprise. Don't spoil the spank. surprise. Maybe spank. Maybe they'll explain the unicorn thing. Maybe. I hope so. All right, guys. We love you. Have a great rest of your evening. Um... Rock it in quarantine still. Wear a mask. Stay Don't home. be a jerk. Wear a mask. Yeah, just wear a mask. Everybody's like, man, ah, you drink the Kool-Aid and whatever. You know what? If it's wear keeping a mask you safe, for me. If it's keeping people safe, then wear a mask. Who cares? Then go wherever you want. Go everywhere you want. Just wear a mask. You're keeping everybody safe. That's a cat toy. On a so... We love you guys, and we'll catch up with you guys next week. Bye. Bye. I love ya.